to be back in liberal Canada. I'm in Westmount, I'm walking down Green Avenue, and I see this irate Anglophone going like this. English! 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 I know what he's doing. You know, when I grew up in Canada, I thought bronze was the highest medal that you could get in the Olympics. I'm serious. Yeah. Years later, I felt bad for the Americans. I'm like, oh, you got a gold. Mm, sorry. <laughs> my mother is, um, you know, my mother's a nice Canadian woman who writes the Globe and Mail and corrects all their typos every day. And my mother's bridge group is so catty, they all wear catheters for fear of leaving the room and being talked about. It's very... <laughs> Who's been married the longest in the whole room? It has to be a couple. I'm just telling you right now. Who? Who do you think? Throw out a number. Sir, you've been really married 55 years? over 55 years. And you don't want to say a number because that'll make you seem old, but 55 is okay? All right, okay. I love couples who've been married that long because there's only one designated speaker in the relationship. Have you noticed that? You can look a man right in the eye. Sir, how old are you? He's 59! He hasn't spoken since 1987. What do you need to know? Here's a list of his medications. He poops on Tuesdays. What else? Seriously. And then I feel really bad for these couples who've been married like 50 years and Viagra came along. The mother, I mean, the woman must have been like, I'm sorry, it does what? <laughs> That's hilarious. Give me those. They're going right in the toilet. Don't be ridiculous. No. No, get that thing away from me. Absolutely. No, I won't take my teeth out. What has gotten into you? What are you thinking? I really, honestly, I don't understand Viagra. I like pie, but I don't want to eat it for four and a half hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> One piece of pie, that was delicious. Two pieces of pie, I'm feeling piggy. Four and a half hours, put the pie away! <laughs> I don't care if it's your birthday! My boyfriend is so sensitive. You know, I know you think that's good to have a sensitive boyfriend, but it's really not. Because every time your boyfriend or your husband says to you, you know, you really hurt my feelings by what you said. Part of you goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But 99% of you goes, you just really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Why might you that? But, um, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, you try and be sexy, you know, <laughs> try. <laughs> then towards now, I, all I want to do is make him laugh. You know what I mean? Like I'll lie in the bed with my giant muffin top and go, all for you. <laughs> he asked me to read him some porno the other day, because I've got such a good voice for that, don't I? I? I could make anything sound unsexy. I'd be like, what do you mean you have a package for me? <laughs> you want to put your package in my box? I have a doorman, okay? Leave it there. I'm, I've got my reading glasses, and he goes, uh, he hands me like some porno thing to read. And he goes, honey, can you take them off? Yeah, well, I can't see without them. He goes, yeah, but you look like Mrs. Claus. I'm like, thanks. That's what every woman dreams of hearing in a bedroom. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. So I'm reading it, I'm like, and then Miranda said, I want to s sock. Sock your big hand. Hard, sorry, big hard. Thrabbing <laughs> clock. <laughs> Anything, honey? No? Okay. You know, <laughs> some celebrities are very intimidating. I'm the kind of celebrity where fans eventually say to me, I've got to go. Uh, I'm very chatty. I went to a big fancy college, the University of Arizona. So one of the jobs I had, I was a cater waiter. Do you know what that is? Whatever, you go to an event and someone's there, an overpass over, I was a cater, cater waiter. And um, it had to happen sooner or later. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Once I saw an alligator. All right, I'll stop, okay. So this, I had this crazy job. It was set up out in the middle of the desert on a picnic table. I had to cater for the prince and princess of Japan. Um, this is completely true, okay? And I was just standing out in the desert, I was a waitress, and they said, whatever you do, don't touch any member of the royal family. And of course, because I'm an Aries, I was like, <laughs> like all I wanted to do was touch them, I'm not allowed. 
all of a sudden, at the end of the meal, the little princess of Japan, tiny woman, look at the pole. This is how thin she is. Look at my hair. Look at the pole. This is her. Everybody, look. Okay? Are you looking? Okay. Good. Focus back to me now. All right. So all of a sudden, at the end of the meal, the princess of Japan looks over at me, and I'm standing there, little Miss Canadian, and she goes like this. Ho? Ho. Ho. I'm like, why is the princess of Japan calling me a whore? And how does she know? Really, I was so not a whore. I had like one good week in college. Anyway, so she goes, I'm like, so, you know, we're so Canadian, we're so polite. So I go, okay. So she calls me over and she has like a piece of peach in her hand. And she's holding the peach up and she goes like this. Whore. But she's now referring to me as, you know. Whore. Whore eat a fruit. And she's holding the peach up to my mouth and I'm like, why is she trying to feed me? So she keeps going, whore, whore eat fruit. And I'm like lowering my mouth to the fruit. I'm like. And I'm thinking, you're not allowed to touch them, but you can lick their palms. It's such a weird culture. And I'm like this close. I literally am about to retrieve the peach. I'm like, oh, it smells good. And then she pulls her hand away and she goes, whore eat a fruit. And I'm like, whore is it trying to eat fruit? Princess is a moving hand. And then she points and she goes, whore, whore. I'm like, oh, get it, what? And behind me is like a guy, a policeman on a whore. A whore. Can you imagine? It would have been like a horrible international incident. Giant Canadian girl eats princess. Totally ridiculous. And then she goes like this, we all ride whore. I'm like, I'm getting minimum wage, you and one other person. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. I love women, man. I'm very particular about the girls I date. I only date really petite girls because they only cost like six bucks to get them drunk. So fish think about nothing, 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 all the time, nothing. Maybe every once in a while they go, man, I'm wet and I don't have any arms. <laughs> <laughs>